Hello there once again, all my beautiful friends. Welcome back to Hobbit Homes and Gardens. My name is Ari. I'm, uh, I'm greeting you from the, the Compass Rose on my front, front lawn. I did make it back home. I made it back home uh, after the last episode. Uh, actually, fun fact, almost immediately after I stopped recording, I had, I had made it, you know, about a minute away from the dig site, and then I was like, what? What? hold on a second. Hold on a second. It's, it's, hard, it's hard to get the camera to do this on command. Hold on a second. <laughs> What I leave behind? What I leave behind those those torch holders? Uh, I, I'm gonna need those. So uh, I grabbed the torch holders. I went back. I grabbed the torch holders, and I left the um, the soybean seeds after all because I actually went and I peeked at an old episode and I realized I did have soybean seeds. I didn't need any more. I can get more of them over time as as the the plants grow and multiply. So I dropped those and I replaced them with these these beautiful torch holders, which are clearly the more important thing to have. You put a torch in there and it burns forever. Put one there, one down uh, down here, so that I don't get any drifters spawning in my food cellar. So that's where they are for now. I unloaded everything. I've been doing a few odd jobs. As you can see, it's starting to outgrow this little this little hobbit hobble. It's about time, my friends. I got the bauxite. Bauxite is eh, we got quite a lot of bauxite. Where's the, where's the, 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 there they are. I got two stacks of bauxite rock, which we can turn into bricks. Um, and we got just a whole chest full of bauxite stones. I thought I had more than that actually, but maybe I just got the one box. There's some wood over here. I got, it's just a mess in here. It's a mess. Uh, it needs to be taken care of. Uh, let me show you, let me show you around. Show you what I've been doing since I returned. I had a long walk home. It was relatively uneventful, fortunately. I wanted to grab... There we go. I want to grab this. I've been hearing a wolf again, and if I come across it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap it gently. This is what that animation seems to be. Actually, I think if we go into third person mode, there we go. It looks a lot nicer in third person. Okay. Uh, first of all, these saplings have grown. The uh, the, the single acacia sapling that I found, and the uh, single, uh, what are these called? Words are hard. K-pop. Single K-pop. Um, I need to break the leaves. I'm gonna have to break them one at a- Hear that? There's two of them! Oh, I'm gonna- I'm gonna- I'm gonna get them! Oh, I'm gonna get them, eventually. They're just gonna keep respawning. I don't know. I don't know what to do about it. I'm- I'll tell you what, folks. Let me- let me have a little chat with you for a second. I, um... Take a name. I, uh... I'm thinking about considering the possibility of perhaps maybe disabling the wolf spawns in this world? Like, just for this world, uh, because they're really annoying, and I, like, it would be, it would be, it would be a pro, pros and cons, right? Pros, I won't have to deal with their howling anymore, I don't have to deal with running around killing them anymore. Um, what was that? That was a raccoon! Deal with them, too. Uh, the cons would be, they're actually a good source of leather and, uh, fat. So, pros and cons, it would be, you know, it wouldn't necessarily break the game or anything. Just because I do like this area, but man, is it full of wolves. It, sh it sure is full of wolves here, <laughs> and uh, I, would, I would prefer to not have to deal with them. Um, but I'm, I'm going to throw that out to you folks. What do you think? What do you think? Would that be a fair thing to do, or do you, do you like the extra challenge of having to deal with the wolves now and then? Or should I just get rid of them and focus on the building, which is the main thing that I want to do in this series? Let me know. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Anyway. If we come across them, we'll, we'll, give them a, we'll give them a stab. So I need to break the leaves of these and pray that I get more acacia saplings. Because even on that whole... Let me show you my journey here. Even on that whole journey, it's going to take a moment to load in. Did not find any more acacia this way. Come on now. As you can see. Took a slightly, sli I came slightly south on the way back. And I did actually find some more ruins and stuff like that. That, uh... You guys shut... Oh my god, they're so annoying. If I can find it, I'll kill it. Anyway, um, hopefully that'll drop another sapling. We've got our friend, our friend, uh, the, the only suggestion for a name I got was Adam and You. Which, in writing, it, it, it looks good. But that's just the name of the animal. Anyway, are, are you still pregnant? Uh, I managed to trap, come this way, around here. Managed to trap a couple of, a couple of chickens, well, a, a chicken and a rooster. I got some feed in there for them, so that we can get some baby roosters. Unfortunately, and I know that they're they're eventually going to change this, but chickens will lay eggs, and you can pick them up and you can cook them and eat them, but they the eggs won't hatch, and to have babies, they actually like give birth like mammals. <laughs> you have to feed them, they get pregnant, and then they give birth to chicks. I think it's a placeholder. I think it's going to change. 
We got some uh, some of the berry bushes. I've, I've decided to put the berry bushes in with the honey. This will just be like the safe from raccoons place. So this will just gradually expand the more uh, berry bushes I add in here. Because raccoons were eating all my dang berries. I don't like that. We've rotated the crops a little bit. Um, there's a boar in there. Okay, that's new. Did that just happen? It may have just happened. I'm still I'm still debating. Oh god, they're both in there. I'm still debating whether to to make a, an enclosure just for the just for the pigs. I may do that. They they might have their uses, and that they could replace the wolves if I uh, decide to stop fighting the wolves. So I planted all the flax I have in here. That's gonna take a while to grow. The the little bit of terra preta that I found is in here, but the rest is just medium fertility soil. Um, it's getting late. I might I might go to bed. I'll go take a nap, and then I'll I'll show you. Uh, I, basically, this whole area needs a lot of terraforming. Or, or less terraforming and more cut, cut, cutting down all, all the trees. <laughs> We've got so many trees. It's just, I'm just gonna take a nap. Maybe I'll, I'll dream of my uh, multiplayer server that I play on with the patrons. Which uh, you could join too if you wanted to. Just just cost you a dollar per month. You can get on there, build build a village with us. Having a, having a lovely time. It's a, it's a nice place full of nice people, you know? I'm very grateful to my patrons. Oh! Oh, that was a lovely dream. Right, let's have some breakfast, some porch. Probably gonna need more, yeah. Yeah, yeah, do I have more? I don't! All right, we're gonna have to cook. Yum. I'm just gonna leave that on the ground outside. Okay, tell me it's full. Um, I, I really wanna take care of those wolves if I can. Uh, by the way, I, remember the four hair traps that I made? At the start? well, this one's become a foxhole. That one's a foxhole. I think one of the wolves is down this way. I heard the howl. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Uh, uh. Can, I, can I get it? There we go. I wonder if I just leave the body there. Will it stop more from spawning? Dang wolves. Yeah, they come They come and they try to get the hairs, but they can't reach them. So this one's still functioning as a hair trap. We get some red meat in there. And I think over here... Oh, another one! I can hear it. It's so close. There's just too many trees. I can't see. It could be standing right next to it, and I wouldn't see it. Yeah, they're all down there, I think. In that little pond area. Which, you know, I wouldn't mind if they weren't so dang loud. Oh, we got another foxhole, and this one's got a puppy in it. Sorry. I had to I had to do it. They eat all my animals. They eat all my, my food. And there's one more up here, which I think this one is still functioning. And I, I think I heard a chicken in this one. I'm going the wrong way again. Oh! Bite me all you want. I don't even care. There we go. Oh my goodness! What is the deal? Too many wolves. I hate it. Yeah, there is a chicken in there. This this one's still safe. There's hairs in there, so we got we still got plenty of food around. But you can see I've, I've started to kind of trim back the tree line a little bit. Because hobbits don't live in the forest. They, they they live in the plains. And I did pick a forested area on purpose. Because, oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Where where'd it go? There's just so many of them. What do I do? Ugh. They need- oh, there you are. Hey, guess what? You're gonna die now. I got Tin Bronze Sword, which is strong enough to take care of you. Oh, kill the- kill the baby bunny! You monster! This- this game's portrayal of wolves is very unfair, by the way. Wolves in the real world are not horrifying monsters. They don't generally attack people. Um, they do eat livestock sometimes, but there are better ways to deal with that than killing them. Wolves are extremely important to the ecosystem. And there's a dang raccoon. Fortunately, my stuff is safe from raccoons, but in order to make this whole place safe from wolves, I'd have to put fences everywhere, or maybe even replace all the grass with my, with my astroturf so that they couldn't spawn. Maybe they could still spawn, I don't know. I know they need a certain amount of forest and a certain amount of rainfall, which we definitely have here. It's like, I don't even want to butcher all these wolves. Go 
have a snack. I'm gonna go have some porridge and clear my head. Think about what we need to do next. This was not supposed to be an episode about killing wolves. This is supposed to be an episode about making progress. And, um... I don't know why I just took that out of there, but I did. Alright, anyway. Now that we've had the tour, I will off-camera be, be gradually cutting back the trees and getting the wood and stuff. Um... Deforestation is bad, but this is a video game, and it's okay. It's not real. It's not real, folks. If you thought it was real, good news, not real. Um, but now that I've got the bauxite, the reason I wanted the bauxite is so that I could redo the front of this, because I have a very specific uh, vision in mind for what I want this place to look like. This was a temporary one. I also want to make it a bit bigger. I want to have a double door so that I can have a, a proper round door, which you'll see what I mean when, when I finally manage that. And then probably like bring the roof down around and make it uh, like a proper little semicircle front instead of ending at these laws like it does here. So this whole thing is, is going to be made wider. This room that we've been living in is just going to be the entryway. And then the fact of the matter is, my friends, I'm basically going to have to tear down- you gotta, be, you gotta be kidding me. Ah, basically got to tear down and rebuild this whole hill because we have to replace the dirt with the astroturf so that we can chisel it and so that it won't fall down. They're just driving me nuts! I'm, I'm slowly going insane from wolf howls. Anyway... <laughs> so, to, to renovate this, I need two things. I need bauxite bricks and I need plaster. Both of those require me to grind up a whole bunch of chalk. So I've got plenty of chalk and there's plenty more nearby underground if I need that, but I am gonna have to grind it up by hand because, unfortunately, uh, I don't have anywhere near enough flax to build a windmill yet. And it's gonna be a while while I wait for the flax to grow so that I can build a windmill. So for now, this is gonna have to be done by hand. This is a nightmarish process for me because uh, as anyone who's been around for a while knows, I got, I got the wrist troubles uh, and holding down mouse buttons is one of the worst things for my wrists. So I might set up a, uh, a macro or set up a, a joy to key thing or something like that to hold down the button for me while I wait for all of the chalk to grind into lime. And then we need to cook up a bunch of the lime into uh, quick lime so that we can make mortar, so that we can make bricks. And then some of it we just need to mix with sand. Actually, is it just the lime with sand? Oh no, it's the quick lime, quick lime with sand. So we're gonna have to, it takes, let me just, let me just break this down for you. Let me just break this down for you, my friends. If we take lime, which is just ground up chalk in this case, uh, it's one chalk equals one lime. It bakes into quick lime, okay? But you need two pieces for one quick lime. So you need, you need, you need, so 64 chalk will become 32 quick lime. And then you need four quicklime per portion of water to make mortar. So I will, I'll probably just do 10, 10 liters of water. 10 liters of water means 40 quicklime. So that's like a stack and a half of chalk just to get my mortar. It will give me a decent amount. Uh, and then even more than that, at least there's only one per, per plaster block, but I'm gonna need so much of this is what I'm saying. So I, I'm gonna be here for a while grinding up chalk into lime. Woo! Riveting gameplay. Oh, by the way, did I mention the baking temperature of lime is 825 degrees, which means we can't use firewood. We have to use... I'm so hungry. We have to use coal. Do I still have some coal left? I do, okay. Uh, it takes quite a lot. Fortunately, there is a uh, lignite nearby. Just start with that. And I gotta grind up even more while these start cooking. And yes, it would be more efficient to set up more fires and have multiple fires going at the same time, but we, we just, we're living in the hovel. This is what we got so far.
All right, I'm gonna keep an eye on these. It's gonna be a while before they're all done, clearly. Uh, let's take a moment and see if we can't get... Oh my good, well you... Wild animals everywhere, driving me absolutely out of my freaking mind. Let's see if we can get lucky and get some saplings off the cicacia tree. Oh please, oh please, yes! Oh, as long as we have, oh we got two! As long as we have at least one, we're in good shape. We can keep growing more of this beautiful wood. I don't care what anyone says. I think the bright, orangish, reddish color of acacia wood is lovely. And I will fight anyone who claims otherwise. That's, that's not true. I, 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 I don't fight. I'm not a fighting kind of person. I don't even fight in video games. I don't like fighting. However, I will vehemently disagree with anyone. Actually, even that's not true. You're, you're entitled to your opinion just as much as I'm entitled to mine. You don't have to like acacia. I like it, and I'm the one building this particular little village, so I'm gonna use it. That's all there is to it. We can we can we can have different opinions, and that's okay. We can like different things. Actually, it's good if we like different things, because then we don't have to share. Now this one's a little bit more difficult, because K-pop saplings have a much lower drop rate. So cross your fingers, friends. Oh, it's getting dark out. Ah. Hey, we're good. I'm up a tree. You know, this does give me an idea. We could uh, we could use K-pop trees to build towers like this, and then uh, we can build we can build tree houses. Who's to say that in this world hobbits don't also live in trees? Tolkien's not here to say it. Tolkien, Tolkien, Tolkien did his work. Passed it on to the rest of us. Now it's our turn. And I say, my hobbits are gonna build tree houses. Not, not in this tree though, this is not where I want it. All right, we've got over 40 quick lime. This is wonderful news. I do need to make a new barrel. Oh my goodness, this place is a mess. You know what? I think the salt is already finished down there. I'll just use one of the salt barrels. Yeah, delicious salt. So to make the quick lime, or to make the uh, mortar, we're gonna drop four quick lime for uh, each liter of water. It's 10 liters of water. So there we go, 40 liters of slaked lime. And then into that, we have to put, I believe, sand? I believe we have to put sand into that. Yes, so we now need 40 sand. I actually don't know if I have sand available. I don't, I didn't prepare in advance. I'm a fool. Well, I got plenty of rocks, not a single piece of sand. So it seems. Oh my God, the wolves. I'm gonna have to go and uh, dig up some sand and, oh man, I had a spot on the map that I knew had sand nearby. I think there was somewhere closer than this. I could go up here and try to chip away at this sand, but honestly, I think my best bet is to come down here to this small, small sort of desert area and dig up a whole bunches of it. Do I have another shovel? So the sand is to the southwest. This way. <laughs> Here we go. Sand time, baby. Yep, this is going perfectly. Okay, where were we? So the good news is, as much as a pain as it is to, uh, to get this much lime, you get 320 mortar out of it, which is enough for quite a few bricks. So... Now, we can take this, and we can make the bauxite bricks that I wanted. Oh, that is beautiful. Now, all that work does not make so many bricks. However, this is more than I need for now. For what I have planned. Now, the other thing I needed the quick line for, of course, Plaster. There we 
go. I'm just gonna use plain plaster for now, but you can also take it and you can decorate it with some sticks and whatnot. These are the two blocks that I wanted to use. I'll put the quick lime in here for now. I need my chisel, and it's time to start remaking this house. Ready? Go! Well, I think that's a pretty good start. What do you folks think? I think that looks a lot nicer. We've got uh, the plaster here. And we've got the bauxite stone bricks. I've made some oak trim. Oh my gosh, so much chiseling, you guys. So much chiseling. But see, this is what I was talking about with the uh, the round door. You see, if you, uh, if you have a double door, then you can make sort of a circle around it, and it doesn't interfere with being able to walk through it, which is great. Um, interior, eh, it needs a, it needs a, just a, maybe a little bit of a touch-up. Inside's not done yet, and I still, of course, have all this mess of stuff that needs a proper place, which uh, will be added later. The other issue is, uh, I need to cover the top as well, so, uh, I gotta get the walls done inside, and then cover the top, and I've come to realize there are some places where I need, uh, dirt. In, in some of the chiseled blocks without the grass top, so I'm gonna have to make a second AstroTurf texture, which is just the soil, because you can't, you still can't chisel soil, can't do it. Uh, that should be simple enough to do. It doesn't have green on it, so it shouldn't have that issue with the, the colors getting all messed up when I import it into the game. But uh, for example, right here, I'd like to put, uh, I'd like to put another piece of AstroTurf on top of this, just for a little thickness, but then this one right here, needs to be just dirt without grass on it. And right now I can't do that, because that's, that's chiseled right there. So that needs to be done, that'll be done behind the scenes. Uh, but I'm quite pleased with this, this uh, starter, starter house here. This is a proper entrance now to a proper hobbit hole. I will obviously be redoing the interior, uh, widening it a bit. And then this room is gonna be converted into just an entryway, and we will start, hopefully next time, uh, digging further into the hill and creating the rest of the hobbit house, the hobbit hole, and probably, you know, drop a window or two here or there around the outside of the hill. I think that'll look really nice. Eventually we'll tie in, you know, the, the farming, the gardens, stuff like that, to here. Still got this wolf corpse just hanging out here. I don't even want to deal with it. Ooh, the, uh, the, uh, the flax is growing. Tons of, tons of hairs. Oh, it's just, it's just, it's just chaos. It's just chaos. Um, but that's, that's kind of all the time I had to make this episode. So I'm gonna have to finish this up, get it edited, get it uploaded so that you wonderful people can all actually watch it. In between episodes, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fix up the interior here and uh, redo the top. I'll add that extra block in so that I can chisel in the dirt texture and uh, probably just do some more clearing of trees and stuff around this area. And I also wanna see, I'll play for long, I'll try to play for long enough that I get s some more flax crops grown. And then our next project can be, well, it depends. If we have the flax, our next project is going to be a windmill for sure, because grinding stuff up by hand is a nightmare. If I don't have the flax yet, then the next project will be the interior of the hobbit hole. We'll make some more rooms, we'll do some more chiseling. Uh, but I'm really, I'm quite pleased with this. I think this came out real nice. I might even use this for the thumbnail, which means this is all spoilers. <laughs> We'll see. I, I may or may not use this as the thumbnail. You already know. You're all in my future. This is bizarre. It's a, it's a strange sort of situation that we're in here. But there we go. There's the entrance to the first Hobbit hole. That's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you want to play on my server with me, uh, check out my Patreon. Patreon.com slash Secret Foxfire. It's only a dollar a month to get on some servers and have fun with us. And I'm going to see you all in the next episode.